This is Marty Stewart with SeminarSecrets.com. You can hear the complete version of this big seminar interview by going to www.SeminarSecrets.com. I'd like to welcome everyone to the call. My name is Arvin Warren, and we got uh, three minutes actually now to the top of the hour. We're going to be talking with David Garfinkel tonight, and David is going to be talking about really many things. David's a well-known copywriter. David has done many things online, many things offline. He's worked with clients such as IBM, Pacific Bell, just to name a few. And we're going to be talking with him, finding out what David has to say. We're going to talk about many subjects, uh, where the conversation starts and where it ends. Uh, there's going to be uh, just a wide variety of places uh, because David uh, has that type of capability. So we're going to be talking with David tonight, tremendous person, tremendous friend, and we're going to be getting started in about oh, a little over two minutes now, and then we're going to get the call started underway. So if you just joined us and you haven't had time yet, well, first of all, just to let you know that you are in the right place, my name is Armin Morn, and you are on the Big Seminar Preview Series. And, uh, again, we're going to get started in just a second, but if you haven't had a chance yet, please go ahead and state your name and let us know where you're calling from, please. Bruce Saffron here, Armin. How are you? Bruce Saffron, the man, yes, and the legend. Hey. And uh, a tremendous person that will be speaking at the Big Seminar. <laughs> Welcome to call, Hello. Bruce. Welcome, Armin. Jerry, hey, Jerry, welcome to the call. Hello, Hello. 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 From Colorado, welcome. Idaho. In Idaho, welcome. Thank you. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. California. California. California, welcome. Pennsylvania. Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington, Pennsylvania, welcome. New Jersey. New Hampshire. New Jersey, New, New Hampshire, welcome to the call. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. We got two minutes to the top of the hour. So, folks, again, if you're jumping on, you, every one of those beeps that you're coming on is a new person jumping onto the call, and we are just having a tremendous response to this call. I'm going to talk more about that in a couple minutes, uh, just to let you know how we're working with you, how we're going to get as many people onto these calls as possible, and uh, we got some tremendous techniques that we're going to be sharing with you on this call and on the others' calls. But I'm going to share with you a couple different ideas uh, on this call uh, at the top of the hour that uh, I think are really important, and one of the reasons. That, uh, that uh, you're really going to want to listen to at the top of the hour. So we got uh, one minute, 60 seconds to go. The countdown is on. Again, my name is Armin Moore. on the Big Seminar Preview Series. And if you just joined the call, please go ahead, state your name, and tell us where you're calling from, please. Welcome to the call. In Pennsylvania, welcome. Armin David Atlanta, San Francisco, California. Hey, welcome to the call. I've been Folks, we got a little less than 60 seconds to get going here. Again, uh, you are on the Big uh, Seminar Preview Series. My name is Armin Moore. We're talking with David Garfinkel on the call tonight. And what we're going to be talking about is a mystery. No, really. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to talk to David about what he knows, why, why people are working with David, why companies such as IBM, Pacific Bell, and many, many others have chosen to work with David for what he knows, how he has helped their businesses, how specifically David is going to help you with your business. Is, but right now, we're going to get the call started and underway. So, again, I'm going to mute out everyone. And silence. <laughs> David, you're still with us. I am. Great, 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 great. Well, folks, let's get this call started and underway. My name is Armin, and you are on the Big Seminar Preview Series. And tonight's call, we're going to be talking with David Garfinkel. But before we do... Before we do, I want to let everyone, I want to kind of give everyone an update as far as what's happening here because uh, we just have that tremendous response. You know, the last time that we did the big seminar and we did the preview series, um, we were putting record numbers on the call. I mean, I say record numbers, I mean an average call uh, was between somewhere between 700 and 1,100 people. The most people we've had on one call so far has been over 1,700 people this set of the Big Seminar Preview Series for Orlando in March. And uh, what's happening is that we're filling up these calls really fast. So 
What we've done is we've done some research. We're looking at different companies. Uh, this is going to be a multiple joint venture with not only one teleseminar service, but multiple teleseminar services so we can get as many people on this call to ensure that you're going to be hearing the information that you need to know uh, for the big seminar. So again, folks, it's going to be a tremendous, tremendous call. We're going to continue these calls. Last night I sent an email out. Uh, after the call that we had with John Childers, which was a, a great call, but, uh, you know, many people weren't able to get on that call. I sent another recording out of a way that you could listen to it, and it will stream right from the Internet right to your desktop, no matter if you're on a 28.8 modem or if you're on a cable modem. It's still going to stream for you. You're going to hear it very clear. You're going to hear it like you were live on that call. And uh, that seemed to work well for us. We're going to continue to do that. We're going to do that with David's call tomorrow. Uh, we're going to do it with our previous calls that we've already done. So you'll be able to get some of this information that you need uh, to market with to enhance your business online. But last night, here's what I really wanted to tell you about. Last night, I made an announcement that I just had an over Overwhelming response. Have you ever had that happen where you did something and all of a sudden you received just approval in the masses? And what I told everyone last night was simply this. I want to make you famous. And what I mean by I want to make you famous is this, is that people have been talking to me and have been trying to get me for quite some time to write a book. Well, the fact is I'm not patient. And I'm not a writer. So what I decided to do with the help of a good friend of mine, Alex Mondosian, we came up with this brilliant idea where not only would I write the book, but I, myself, and a 100 closest people uh, that I know, which are going to be at the big seminar, and this is how you come into play, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, we're going to take a little marketing tip from each and every one of you. We're going to have 101 tactics for uh, an Internet strategies to market your business with. And then we're going to take and we're going to compile that book. We're going to take that book. We're going to compile it. We're going to drive it to number one on Amazon. We're going to drive it to number one on Barnes & Nobles. We're going to drive it to number one across the board in all the markets. Not only are we going to drive it to the top, but we're going to keep it at the top, utilizing the same techniques, the same strategies that we're talking about on these calls. You see, I have a formula that I've been utilizing. It's a system that I've developed for getting me the top 1,000 in all the websites in Alexa. Now, that's pretty impressive, and I can do that pretty much at will. But you know what? There's actually six steps to that. Now, this may sound a little strange, and it may sound, uh, you know, a little weird, but, you know, I've only had to use two of those steps. I've never gone beyond the two steps, and uh, which is a little scary when you think about the power that's in that one technique. But techniques like that where I engage people that I know, my joint venture and Work, the people that are my friends online, the people that I have close relationships with, and we we basically take our le our list and we leverage our list to drive this book to the top. Now, let me give you this. Let me, I'm going to give you the short of this because we're in the home stretch here. The, the the short of this is this. Why are we doing this? Well, first of all, we want to do it because it can be done. Second of all, the, all the money, I don't want it. I'm not going to keep it. I don't need it. What I'm doing with that money is I'm going to take that money and we're going to select a school. We're going to select a school amongst the group, the co-authors of mine. I want you to be my co-author, my joint venture partner in this. And we're going to select a school somewhere that can't afford computers. That's my goal. That's my vision. Many of the people that, that, you know, that are at the seminar I talk to on a close basis know that this is a strong belief of mine that computers have changed my life, you know, certainly for the better. I've been blessed as with everything that's happened to me through the use of computers. And schools that can't afford or don't have enough or can't get the computers that they need to make to make the difference in the students' lives uh, across the country need help. And so we're going to take the funds that are generated from this book and give it to those students. Oh, and that is such a great idea. I think it's a great idea, David. I mean, you, you know, I thought, you, you know, it's kind of amazing because you know where I thought of this idea originally? No. It was outside, and it was at the last big seminar. 
I mean, that's that's the God's honest truth. Uh, I was at uh, last week's seminar. I was sitting outside, and that's when this idea uh, came across. And I, I got instant approval from many of the the marketers that we had last time uh, when I was standing outside there. And uh, and they all love the idea. And I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take it. And that's how we're gonna do this. Uh, but here's how the selection process goes. Uh, I need a hundred people. I need 100 people that are serious. I need 100 people that are that are really want to attend. Obviously, I can't take all 500 people from the big seminar and put them in this book. But I will take 500, 20% of those people that come to the big seminar that want to be in this book, 100 of those people, and I will critique it. I will find out which ones are the best, and then I will take those ideas, those tips, those tactics, and we're going to put them inside the book. And, and that's going to be our book. And... Uh, you know, uh, I, I you know I haven't even I haven't approached him with this yet. But as many of you know, Mark Victor Hansen is a new guest speaker that we're going to be having at the big seminar. Now I haven't approached Mark with this idea, but I could almost guarantee that once Mark hears the idea with a hundred other like-minded ind- individuals uh, jumping on board with this and co-authoring this, I think that I could get Mark to do it. And uh, and, I, and I, again, I haven't spoke to Mark. I'm telling you that right now. But I think that I can get Mark to do that. Now, could you imagine this? Co-authoring a book with Mark Victor Hansen or co-authoring a book with myself at the very minimum and, and then taking that book and drawing to number one. Would you like to be involved with that? Well, in order to take part in that, come to the big seminar. You could be one of the ones selected. We're going we're gonna to let people know, hopefully, at the big seminar itself, I plan to make just make a list, pass out a list, and I'm going to tell you there because we're going to start sh- sending out information to the previous attendees. We're going to start sending information out to the new attendees that are coming now. And but the thing is, is that you need to take part in this. You you can be in this book, and we want to make you famous as well. And so there's benefits for everybody. You win, I win, the kids win that need the computers, the schools win. Uh, it's a win, win, win situation, and we're really excited about that. But, folks, seriously, take a look at the big seminar. You think it's a long way off. I can tell you this. It's not. <laughs> Trust me. It's February 5th now. It's the March 19th, 20th, and 21st. That's what? A month in uh, just a couple of days, literally. And uh, we have a tremendous opportunity now uh, for you to come to the seminar. So that's my commercial for the beginning of the seminar. You'll learn more about that in the latter part of the call. Uh, but tonight's call specifically is with a gentleman that is a tremendous marketer, a tremendous friend, a, someone that I have gotten to know really well recently. We, uh, he, I've met David uh, and heard of David. In fact, I met David probably like the way many of you have met David. And here's what I mean by that, meaning that I met David through first buying one of his products. And after I bought one of his products, I said, you know, it was on copywriting, to be exact. And uh, when I bought that product, I started reading it because, you know, I believe a person can never learn uh, enough about copywriting. I want to know everything, if that's possible. And I don't think I'll ever get there. But, you know, David's was one of the first courses I bought on copywriting, one of those books. And and uh, it was just tremendous. But he's, uh, his clients include companies that you know, that you know, people like IBM, United Airlines, specifically. Bell, uh, Time Life Books, MCI, you know, but most of David's clients, they are small business owners that are trying to make a difference in their sales, trying to make a difference in their business uh, instantly, and that is what David specializes in. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to David Garfinkel. David, welcome to the call tonight. Thanks, Armin. It's nice to be here. David, let's start off with this because, see, I think it's important, and I ask, I think, almost every one of our, our guest speakers this question, and, and that is, you know, you know, many people on this call know you. They know what you do. They know, you know, some of the projects that you've been involved with, and we'll, we're going to cover many of those as we continue on through the call. But what I want to do is I want to know, you know, who, I want to let them know who really David Garfinkel is. So, you know, tell us what you did prior to getting involved on the Internet. How far back do you want me to go? Well, we can skip about being born in the hospital because you want to be close to your mother. But (laughs) after that... (laughs) Well, the reason I say that is in seventh grade, uh, my entrepreneurial instincts sort of bloomed, and I found that if you took tincture of cinnamon and you soaked toothpicks in it, you could make these cinnamon toothpicks and sell them for a penny. And 
So I did that, and I was making lots of pennies. This is seventh grade back in 1965. And all of a sudden, there was this new policy at school saying, no flavored toothpicks shall be sold. And so that was my first experience with the kind of resistance that you run into when you're trying to sell something. When I was in high school, I was editor of my high school newspaper. We were running a little short of money. And so I came up with the idea of writing a letter to the parents and asking them to subscribe to the paper. <clears throat> and they, they did. And I think that was really my first direct mail letter. And, of course, <laughs> I didn't even know what direct mail was. But what direct mail is is you write a letter and people send you back money. Um, <clears throat> but then I, I was a writer and... I wasn't even sure I wanted to be a writer, but I just kept doing that, doing well with it. Everyone told me I should be a writer, and so I became a journalist, and I always tended toward business. I worked for a company called McGraw-Hill. I'm sure everyone knows it. They have a big magazine division. I worked in New York as an editor. Then I went to Chicago, and I was a news correspondent. And I ended up in San Francisco, a San Francisco bureau chief, in 1984 and 85 because I was able to explain to ordinary business people reading these technical magazines, but not computer magazines, how businesses were using computers. So really the last 20 years of my life living in San Francisco all come from my ability to write in plain English about technical topics. And in a way, that's what copywriting is. Even though a lot of things we sell might not think of as technical, we have this insider knowledge that's very dry and mechanical, and you need to make it interesting to people so that they will buy what you're selling. So it's kind of like a, a spin factor. Exactly. Is that, I mean, is that correct? I mean, just like, just like our, our, well, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to get political, but just like a government, you know, and many times they do something wrong and they need to get the correct spin. They need to make, they need to make lemonade out of lemons. And, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't think any of my clients have done anything wrong. They would have work with them, but it's what the wrong thing that people do is they talk about the product from their point of view, Right. and it's wrong in the sense that, I mean, there's nothing really morally wrong, it's just a business spin, in that if you talk about the product from your point of view as opposed to your customer's point of view, then you're not going to make many sales, except to the people who are already educated and sophisticated and sort of get intuitively what you're doing. You know, I like to use the example of a, of a cop in an interrogation room. You know how you see those things in the movies, and there's this gallery up there. People are looking down into the room, and there's this mirror on the other side. Right. So that's, that's called a half-silver mirror, as I'm sure you know, and it means it's a one-way mirror. You can see through it one way, but in the other way, it's like a normal mirror. Most copy that people write, most sales copy, most websites, most sales emails, and most stuff off the Internet, too, is like that half-silvered mirror where the, the business owner is pointing the mirror towards him or herself, and, and the customers are looking through the mirror. So the business owner sees him or herself, and the customers just see the business owner. That's exactly the wrong way to do it. The right way to do it is to turn the mirror 180 degrees so it's pointed towards the customer. So when the customer looks at your copy, the customer sees themselves, and you see the customer. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, I like that concept because, you know, that's where I think many people don't do it. It's hard, you know, and I know you'll agree with this, it's hard to get people to step out of their own shoes it is. and sit back and, and even just look at themselves much to try to put themselves in the shoes of their customer. You know, there was a book. Uh, I shouldn't say a book. It was a movie one time. And I believe it was called, uh, I don't know, I think the Iron Fist or, or something like that. It was one of these, you know, Saturday afternoon Chapsaki movies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, everyone knows what I mean. These kung fu flicks that maybe your kids or your husband, you know, wants to watch and, and uh, you know, you don't want to watch it. Uh, you know, at least that's how it is around my house. I don't know. I like action films, but go on. I like action, but my wife doesn't. So, <laughs> uh, so what happened is this, is in this book, The Secret of Life, the whole purpose of this whole movie was to find the secret of life in this in this hidden book. 
And when he opened the, the book, this, this person, uh, inside was a mirror, and he saw. You have just listened to a portion of this big seminar interview. To get the complete version, simply go to www.seminarsecrets.com. Find out how you can attend the next Internet Marketing Big Seminar. And for a very special offer you can't refuse, visit www.seminarsecrets.com.